Hello and welcome back. This is Ask Alan about low carb cocktails. Um, today um, I'm not making a cocktail but I am doing a review on Member Mark Spirits. They uh, claim these are top rated. I don't know. I've never bought uh, their tequila or vodka or gin. The uh, One's usually for vodka, I'll, I'll get Tito's. Uh, it, it happens to taste really, really pretty good for a, for a vodka, although vodka is a neutral spirit, so the only taste you really get is from, in most cases, from the water that is added to, uh, to, the, to the grain alcohol that they make the vodka out of. But, uh, those waters, of course, are from different areas in the world. Um, and uh, some vodkas, for instance, are made with potato. Uh, there's one that's made with rice, which tasted really weird. But um, the, the ones that I have here, um, I'm not going to compare against these, but um, this uh, Stoli, it's, the pronunciation is Stol. Stolnet, I'm not going to try it, sorry, uh, but uh, um, most people call this Stoli. Uh, back when the Russian conflict started, everyone was getting rid of this, so I got this um, at a reduced price. Uh, it, it's an okay, it's actually a really good vodka, and it actually is not from Russia, uh, it's from I think Poland or something. So they started, they, they're selling it again, but I bought it when they were trying to get rid of it because everybody was trying to get rid of anything from Russia. Uh, this uh, I got on sale someplace. It's a Tequila Dos Hombres. Not opened it yet. It's a, it's a celebrity brand. I think this is George Clooney's. Uh, but again, I found it on sale someplace and picked that up. Uh, so I'll, at some point I'll let you know what that tastes like. This also I got on sale. There was a Hy-Vee grocery store that was closing and they had uh, decreased their prices on everything and I bought this at, I don't know, I think 30% uh, off or something. So uh, Hendrix Gin is one of, one of the better gins. So those are typically expensive, but uh, I happened to get each of those at a reduced price, uh, which is why I have them. The stuff from uh, Sam's Club, Members Mark, is very inexpensive. And this, <laughs> in fact, this sample kit uh, they had at, uh, at Sam's, and I kept looking at it thinking maybe I should try them. And then they put, they discounted them to, to get rid of them because they weren't selling. So I went ahead and picked this these up, and today we're going to sample these and uh, and see whether or not the member mark versions of the different alcohols different spirits are worth, uh, worth getting so we'll start with the vodka now again vodka um, is a neutral spirit so it shouldn't have a lot of flavors in it but it's mainly the flavors that, that come from the water that, that is used in, in, in uh, cutting it down to proof. I think this is probably a 40% ABV, which is 80 proof. That's typically the lower, the lowest amount that uh, you'd have on any actual, actual spirits. Uh, below that is usually things that are um, not really considered full full spirits, but try this. It tastes okay. It just kind of tastes a bit like a, just a, about et, kind of ethanol-ish. It uh, really doesn't have much of a smell. You can smell the, smell the alcohol on the, on the vodka.
it's okay, but not exactly what I would uh, want for a vodka. Tito's is much better. Stoli is much better. So I don't think I would buy this. They do have a, a French vodka, I think. Um, supposedly it's, it's better, but this vodka is not what I would uh, go back to buy. Next, we'll actually try the gin. Now we'll try the tequila, because gin ha is very herbal tasting usually. But the tequila, um, it does say it's 100% agave. So we'll see whether or not the member mark tequila tastes reasonably good. Yeah, I definitely do smell the, the agave. Nothing spectacular. A little bit of creaminess. Tastes like a low-end tequila. Uh, not something I would want to try again. I do have a few here. I guess I might be giving them away. <laughs> but uh, it does not have a great taste in my, in my view. Um, definitely, I would expect a, a better taste out of tequila. This might be similar to Jose Cuervo, but Jose Cuervo is not 100% agave in their, in their base spirit, base version. Uh, you have to get the, uh, their better quality ones to get anything better. Um, and normally, um, I prefer a Respirado tequila for most things, but uh, the Blancos are usually not aged and uh, you don't get a lot of character there. But this really You, you do taste a little bit of agave, but it's not not prevalent. So I wouldn't buy that again, uh, even though it's really low price. Uh, unless you're you, just using it in as a mixer that you don't that your the flavors will be covered up by whatever else you're adding. In that case, then it's just alcohol. But um, the London Dry Gin. Now, uh, I don't think Hen uh, Hendrix is London Dry Gin, but it's it's uh, it's a gin. Um, gins are have a lot of herbal uh, taste to them, so we'll see whether this particular gin is worthwhile. Now I had bought Barton's, I think, London Dry Gin, because it was on closeout at Sam's also uh, about a year ago. So I bought a couple bottles of it for like less than five dollars, and it the Barton's actually, even though it's it's a not the highest uh, rated spirit, it's uh, for doing gin drinks. It was fine. Uh, it tasted like most of the London Dry Gins. Uh, there, are, there are better ones and, and worse ones, but uh, uh, the Bartons seem to be fine for doing cocktails. And we'll see whether the member marks is that way. Don't taste, don't, don't smell a lot of the herbalness in this.
I do taste the, the herbal flavors. Uh, it definitely is a gin. It's okay. Uh, not, probably not even as good as Barton's, but it's an okay gin. Uh, it, you know, again, making uh, gin cocktails, depending on what's going in them, uh, this would be okay. Uh, it's going to be cheap. Uh, it's a member mark uh, product, so um, I, I wouldn't rush back to the store to get this, though. And so it seems like the member marks, in my view, are a fail. Uh, never, I'd never heard uh, anyone else say that the that any of these were great, but to me, they just don't have the taste profile that I would rather see. Um, and you can find other uh, lower priced um, uh, bottles of things that uh, that will, will taste better. Like I said, Tito's is a go-to. Uh, it's a low price, and it has a for vodka. It's, it's got a good taste. Uh, not that there's a lot of taste in vodka, but Tito's uh, Tito's has a pretty good taste. Uh, on the the tequila side, not really sure what to say for a low cost tequila. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there that there's a big variety. And, and unfortunately, tequilas are starting to get very expensive. So you could pick up the member mark tequila if you're going to make a make a mix mix some kind of a cocktail with it that uh, doesn't matter what the how, what the quality of the alcohol is. It's it's mostly covered up by the the lime juice or whatever else is going into your <laughs> into your cocktail. But uh, it's not. This isn't one that I would rush back to get. And I might um, get the gin if just because it's a fairly low cost. But like I said, I found that Barton's has a decent taste and it's really low cost uh, uh, for a gin. I don't know about any of the other Barton products, but uh, I would, I would uh, definitely get the, the Barton gin Unless you're a gin connoisseur and you have to have Hendrix or something else, uh, I really do on uh, on on the gin side. Uh, the uh, aviation gin is very good, but that's not a London Dry. That's a uh, an American style gin. Uh, but uh, Ryan Reynolds did a good job. I'm sure he didn't actually do it, but uh, but he sponsored that that gin and. And it's, it's a pretty good one. So unfortunately, uh, although I got a very low cost on this sample pack and I couldn't pass up, it was less than $8 for the for four of each of these little bottles. But I don't know if I'm gonna ever use them because they're just don't, they just don't have a great taste. I don't think that, uh, that these are the member mark items that I would want to have. I do like the member mark uh, white rum. Unfortunately, they stopped making, stopped selling that, and uh, I'm not sure if they'll get that back. But it was a Caribbean rum, I believe, and that had had a funky taste to it, and, and it was good. Uh, good. The the main thing I used it in was to make uh, the sugar-free coconut rum that I I show in another video. But for this. Uh, these three, I can see why that they were just discounting the the sample pack, and people weren't buying them because they're not that great. They're okay at best, and the vodka was not at all good. The vodka just tasted almost like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> not that I've tasted that, but uh, but that's what I imagine it would taste like. <clears throat> All that to say that, unfortunately, the member mark uh, spirits are not the best. They are cheap. If you're just want, wanting to get something very inexpensive to, to have in your bar, then these would be fine for uh, mixing with other things where the, the mixers are 
uh, the prominent taste. So uh, that that's a, an option. But I wouldn't advocate going out to buy these to have some very good tasting uh, spirits because they're just not not there. Not these three at least. So I hope that helps everybody. Please uh, like and subscribe and share these videos. I'd like to see as many people as possible be able to learn from my journey and uh, know what uh, what th what things are out there that um, they can get without spending a lot of money uh, and also um, how to use them in cocktails <clears throat> that are lower carb and uh, better for people who need to keep on a low carb diet. So again, this is Alan and I thank you for being here. Join me again the next for the next one and we'll uh, go down this journey together and hopefully we will all be able to learn as much as possible and uh, and provide your comments below about what you like or dislike about any of the videos and uh, let your friends know and and we'll see you back here next time on Ask Alan.